What a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck. We play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe, and today we're looking at Subterror Stun. Yes, I'm finally taking a look at Subterrors, that TCG archetype that's been coming out all last year. And I think we finally got all the support that we're going to get for it. We've got quite a bit, including this new Link Monster, which is not essential for the deck, but, but it is a nice touch, a nice little thing to add to it that gives them some added attack if they need it. And we've also got some Prediction Princesses in here, because that helps with flip effects and such. Now, if you just want a deck profile, there's a link in the description to a separate shorter video. I'll just go over everything in here, I'll explain how this works. Otherwise, I'm playing 10 duels against random opponents on YGO Pro 2. I'll be testing this out, showing you a bunch of combos, and hopefully, we'll have a little fun. Alrighty, here we are in the first duel versus, I believe it was Phantom 201-201. It's really... It, it, the one thing that I don't like about this from the previous one is that you can't see the name while you're playing Rock, Paper, Scissors. And we want to go first with this deck. Um, this deck can be a little bricky, but it has, like I said, it's, it's named after stun, so you want to have the ability to, uh, to, to shut your opponent down if you can. And we can't. Um, this is actually one of the worst hands I've seen in a while. Jeez. Um, we'll set that. Um, we'll set this and hope things are all right. Um, you know what, let's set one of these two, just cause we can. Just give them three things, make them seem like we haven't bricked entirely. Because unfortunately I feel like we've bricked almost entirely. We've got, we've got our trap, which is a really strong trap, but only if we need, we, it, basically we have no sub terror monsters, except for Fiendus, and Fiendus is not good on her own. She's a great starter to the deck, you could do all sorts of things. Um, yep, and I'm just going to stop that from happening right away. Just no searches for you. No equipping, no nothing. Granted, he still has the, the five cards, so he could probably do a lot, and it costs me a lot. Fortunately, this, uh, the Prediction Princess card, you can banish it from the grave, except the turn that you sent it there, to add a Prediction Princess from your deck to your hand. So, I've got, I've got the ritual spell, I'm going to have the monster next turn, I just need something I can discard for it. And one star is not enough to discard for it. But I can at least deck thin. I can deck thin the movie the game. Hey, hey, hey! Can't summon it yet. But I'll just summon Fiendus. Fiendus has quite a few effects, I'll get to the other ones. The more important one is if it's on your field or in your, uh, in your hand, and your opponent activates something, you can flip a sub-terror you control face down, send it to the graveyard, and uh, negate and just... Does it just... I think it just negates. Negate the activation, and then flip a sub-terror face down. So, if you have two, it actually works with two of them. We'll attack that, and I'm just going to go ahead and use sub-terror final battle. Because you can use that to add a monster's attack to its defense. Which is not a whole lot. It might be a little early to reveal that I have this, um, but it's better to get 1,300. At least I got 1,000 damage in there. Yeah, this actually has four different effects. You can either change a sub-terror that's face down to face up, change a face up, sub-terror, face down, uh, target a sub-terror and add its attack to its defense, and vice versa, or uh, this turn the effects of sub-terrors cannot be negated. And then when you activate it, at, after you activate it, you can just set it. So it just goes back face down, and you can activate it again. A really, really nice trap, really strong for, for a lot of different reasons. But fortunately, because I have this, and I have a sub -terror Fiendus, um, because I have two of them, if he activates something, I can discard this one as the cost, flip this face down, and then stop him from doing anything. Union hanger, he's hanging his unions. I'm not gonna let you activate that. <laughs> nope. The sun is a deadly laser. Gnaw dog. Just with her hand reaching out like, uh-uh. Mm-mm. <laughs> and he still has nothing. Ooh, and now I have another monster, which is not still not enough to do what I want to do, but it's decent. 
Um, if I control another sub terror monster and I attack a face down monster, I could shuffle it into the deck. Usually not all that useful. It's mostly just here because it's something you can normal summon. And if it's destroyed by battle or card effects and sent to the graveyard, you could special summon one sub terror from your uh, deck in face up or face down defense. So that's good. It's just a little bit of floating power. Hopefully it doesn't have something like um, Rippling Mirror Force or something like that. And this works on the field too, so because I have another sub terror now, if he activates a third Union Hanger, I can flip this face down, send this to the graveyard, and do more damage. And of course, because Archer's attack stats are higher, increasing the attack and defense will actually give her quite a substantial amount. 3,000. That's not too bad, I would say. And that's how you can... You can actually OTK in this deck if you if you get the right hand. We didn't have a, a good hand to start out. But fortunately, he didn't have a very good hand either. It looks like he's got, like, all traps and no monsters to actually summon. And because I'm negating his monsters. And that's where the stun comes in, because Fiendus is, is a really good stun card. Um... No. No, nah, dog. Face down. That's just how it goes. Ah, he's giving me a field spell. Set rotation. But he's finally going to get his union hanger. And he gave me Oracle of Zephyroth. Which is actually one of the few good uses of set rotation. Um... Yeah, that's not going to do anything. If you give your opponent, when this card is activated, add one Zephra monster from your deck to your hand. That doesn't say you can, you have to. So I can't activate this card. Um, and while either of those cards remain set on the field, neither player can activate or set other field spells. So I can't, I can't activate my other one until I get rid of this, and I can't activate this. My only hope would be to get, like, Twin Twisters... And that sucks because the f my field spell is actually really powerful. And he's going for Cyber Dragon Infinity. A sad state of affairs because he negates all my things. I just wonder if during the damage step, like, after this is flipped up, can I activate this to give it 3,000 defense? If so, and he doesn't negate that, then I'll get Archer's effect. If he doesn't negate that, then he won't be able to run over it, so it's a win-win either way, assuming I can activate it after it's been flipped. And he lost connection, sadly. Um. Damn. Let's... Let's see what my next card is. I'll go into the replay, we'll see what I would have had, and I'll determine from there if, if I'm going to count that as a win or a loss. I mean, I had the advantage, at least as far as life points go, but he kind of had me tricked out with the... Oh wait, I don't need to save it, do I? Can I just... No, I do need to save it. So, let's see. Would I win? Question mark? I don't want to put an actual question mark, because I think it won't, won't load. But yeah, we'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, well, unfortunately... I, I can't look at what's actually in my deck, at least in, in this mode, and I tried using the, the god mode, but that one, it's kind of buggy and it's not really working out all that well, it sort of freezes before I get as far as I can get, so I, I don't think I'm going to be able to find out, and plus I think one of the, the big things also was that like if I activated Final Battle, if he negated it with, with the uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity, then I would have gotten Archer's effect, which would have summoned something out of my deck. And then that would have shuffled the deck entirely, so even if I knew what was on top, I wouldn't know exactly. Um, so you, you can comment in the comments what you think it would be. I think, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to not count that one due to the lost connection. And uh, we'll, we'll just go into a real first duel after ten minutes of, of, of a warm-up duel. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> All right, here we are. The real first duel, hopefully, versus Porto. Porto Potty, who can say? 
Maybe it means something in Spanish or Brazilian. It seems like it might, but I'm no expert. Um, fortunately, we've got a, a pretty pretty decent hand, I must say. Um, anytime you start with pre-preparations of rights, you're pretty good. That'll let you add both the uh, ritual monster and a ritual... No. No, dog. Ash Blossom says no, and I can't activate another one this turn. So, hmm... What I'm going to do... Activate the Hidden City. That'll let me get a search, hopefully. Yep, and... I think what I'm going to pick... Is Fiendus. Yeah, yeah, because I've got, I've got Archer, so I can normal summon out Archer. If they destroy it by battle or card effect, then I'll get the summon. And if they don't, I can I can just use Fiendus to turn it face down. I can I, I'll have a negation and I'll have possibly another monster that can be summoned. And then next turn, assuming they don't have another one, I can pre-preparations of rights on that. So I still have some options. Just an option or two, I tell you what. I'm wondering she's living underground. Where'd she get that flower from? Is that a flower? It looks like a flower, like a little rose in her hair or something. Also, is that is that a gusto? Is that one of those gustos living underground? Um, magical meltdown. Yeah, I don't think I want you to have that. Um. Well, no, you know what? I'll let him search it. He can normal summon Alistair. I'll negate him. That way, he won't get the 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 spell, or let him get the spell and then negate it when he activates it. Yeah, I'll negate the spell. That'll mess up his, his things. No invocations for you. Now we can make the fire one. Ooh, pot of justice. I don't know what pot of just pot of desires. Your move, holy man. You've already used your normal summon. You thought that perhaps I would negate things early, but I have not. Who knows what these are? They're banished. But it might have might have gotten him another invocation, and he can just activate a second one. It might have banished both his other invocations, and maybe negating this one will stop the cycle. Either way, he's not getting a fusion summon out while I'm on here. Unless he has something that can negate a hand trap, which I don't think that he does. Yeah, sub are... Uh, I, I, I was very surprised at how effective they are. They're not, like... They're, they're not meta, for sure. But, uh, I, I, like, I've never been OTK'd that I can remember by sub or I've never been stunned consistently by sub just over and over again. Like, I know they've beaten me once or twice, but... I, I, I... A lot of their combos are, like, they're doing things that I'm certain... Um, I've never seen anyone do to me before. And it makes me curious why they're not being utilized in this way. Maybe there's an even better way, and I just haven't seen it. I don't know. Like like with anything, I feel like I should mention that I don't really... I don't watch other people's like videos on how to play things. Uh, I don't really read up about the deck. The, the closest thing was, so, like, for some cards, I'll read up on the tips on the, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! wiki to find out what cards can search those cards, or if there's, like, a synergy I didn't think about. But most of the time, it's just me typing subterror in, sitting down, and trying to figure out what I could build with them. And I knew from the start, as soon as they had flip effects, that, that having tarot, having the prediction princess ritual was going to be something I would try to do. But she really helps make the deck come alive. Being able to summon monsters just out of the graveyard, and they're all so high level. I mean, Stygio Kraken isn't, but, but most of them are. And they, they almost form a toolbox, because you've got a whole bunch of different ones. You can search them all with Hidden City. Um, you've got the sub-nemesis warrior who can actually, like, trade out himself and another card on the field to get just about any, any sub-terror from your deck. Although most of the time, you just want the one that banishes everything. <laughs> That's the best one. This one is like you could target set cards equal to the number of sub-terror behemoths you control and destroy them. Which is nice if you've got a bunch of set cards. 
Not sure what's happening here. Oh, okay. Interesting. He's afraid. But why is he afraid? Why is he a slave to this trade? Real enough to rile you up. Want me to spin it? I can rip it any style you want. Um, <laughs> I'm just doing silly things now. Um, let's go ahead. Manju of the 10,000 hands. Wacha! Yes, I would like to add one of those things, if you please. Specifically this. That way I can, uh, let's see. Hand or graveyard. Good. Because I don't want to get rid of my fiendus to, to get this. Or actually... Max C, eh? Yeah, I'm not going to negate that. You can draw a card. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and tribute that. Or summon that by tributing this. Just more monsters on board for higher attack values. And things to do and stuff. And of course, I could link these two if I wanted to, but I, I'd prefer to keep this. You gotta keep this on board so that you can use Subterra Fiendus. I don't really want to get rid of Terote. But if I got another extra monster. Um. Um. Yeah, this card is sent. You can target one monster. Yeah, that's fine. You don't have another true Draco or true King you control. So you can't have my attack. He's just trying to bait out this negation that he knows I have. And he surrendered. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, that was faster. So we get our first actual win with that first possible thing as we go into the second duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Second duel versus Dr. Infinity. Quite the name. Um, oh, I realize that I forgot to change my name. I'm still the last son of Slamzone, which is actually the default name I've been using. If you see the last son of Slamzone on here, it's it's me. Um, if you see Hardleg, that's not me. That's someone pretending to be me, which has happened once or twice. We're playing against more true Dracos. Not true kings, true Dracos. Specifically, and once again, we've got a pretty decent hand. Sweet, so I only play two of these archers. She, she's not like a main player in this deck, but for whatever reason, we just happen to get her like every single, every single duel, either first or second turn. It feels like. It looks like he's playing the metal foe version. Yeah, I'll change my name. I had, a, I had a name planned out, and then I forgot to, to put it there. So I'm sad. Okay, so we could just sort of chain that. Who knows what that could be? Or that thing. They're probably true Draco spell traps, though, so... I might want to destroy those now while I don't have anything on the field. Yeah, let's just try that. Bada bingo! Get rid of this guy, and get those two. Yo, what's up? And I'm trying to remember what Full Metal Foe's Alkahest does, and for the life of me, I cannot remember. Nope, they're just Metal Foe, Metal Foe traps. So sadly, by destroying them, I have only played into his hands. Um, let's see what I can do here. Do, 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 do. Fortunately, I think I'm pretty good. Um, because what I can do is normal summon Fiendus. No, that was that was the wrong. I was supposed to normal summon Archer and keep Fiendus in my hand. Ugh! Now I feel dumb. Ugh. All right. Well, we all make mistakes from time to time. You just have to learn to live with them. Hopefully, it'll let me search something first. Search for the first, um, and I'm going to pick, yeah, I think, I think that's probably the best to pick. And then, Fiendus has another effect, you can 
Target a monster you control, flip it face down, and then summon a sub terror from your hand or graveyard. Which is why she's a great play starter, because if you have anything, any big sub terror in your hand that you normally can't summon, and you have Fiendus, it just gives you a way to summon it. Uh, the sub terrors themselves also have an effect that if a, a let's see, what is it? Uh, when a monster you control is flipped face down, and you control no face up monsters, you can special summon it from your hand. Yeah, so I'm going to do this. Um, and let's see. Yeah, we're just going to activate this. This will let you flip up a sub-terror you control once per turn. And when he's flipped, I can banish a card. And when this is summoned, I can summon this... Oh, wait. This goes first, this goes second. Yeah, when, when Warrior is in your graveyard and you flip summon a sub-terror, you can special summon him from the graveyard. Which is why you want to dump him in the graveyard, because you're flip summoning a lot. Full Metal Foes Fusion. Okay, that should be fine. Luckily, now that I have him out, I've actually got something I can do to, to dodge out of Alkahest. Which should be cool. Of course, if I... Well, granted, if I hadn't summoned Fiendus, I wouldn't have this. I was just worried he would do that immediately. But yeah, Warrior, what you can do is during either player's turn, send one sub terror from your deck to the graveyard, then tribute this card and at least one other monster whose total levels equal or exceed that monster's level. And then summon that monster from the graveyard. Um, let's see. And this does double piercing. And if it's destroyed... So, like, I could tag this out for a 3,000 attack point monster, but then he could destroy a card on the field. I think at the moment what I'm going to do... Hmm. I could make this... <laughs> Then I could just send this back to the... Oh, wait, no, because I can't summon there. Never mind. Um, yeah, we're good for now. So, the field spell. In addition to searching a sub tear, in addition to letting you flip a sub tear face up during your turn, and he surrendered. Well, if they declare an attack and you have a face down monster, you can negate the attack, flip that monster face up. So, if he tried to attack into Fiendus with that, I flip Fiendus face up. He doesn't get that attack. Uh, I can make sure I'm saved. And then, because I have two sub-terrors face up on the field, and the Fiendus face up, I can use her effect to negate things. A lot of people surrendering today. I'm wondering... Granted, it, it says... It lets you know if it's because they lost connection. This one, he surrendered. He couldn't... He couldn't deal with this. So... So, I feel like we're good. But it, it has me concerned that maybe things are, like, not working. That maybe there's a bug. Who knows? Either way. Third... Third duel. <laughs> Okay, it looks like the third duel is versus Aisha. I've got my actual name, and I believe that picture is the, 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 the Light Charmer. I forget her name. You'll have to comment in the comments if I'm wrong. Again, we want to go first if we can. Just wanted to point out that I... The, with the, I find it interesting where it's every time you put in the same... Uh, people were commenting before saying that it, it seems random what name you get. And it's not, it's not completely random. It's it's based off whatever your name is. If you put the same name in, you will always get the same picture. Um, let's see. No, I don't want to chain, but I do want to search a sub tear. We're going to go ahead and get Fiendish. She's fiendish. Yes, she is. Do 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 do. Praise the Great One. Ha! He knows what my name. Yeah, comment in the comments if you understand what my name is from. So we'll flip Fiendish face down. Stalagmo will get summoned um, in attack position. Because then I can use the Hidden City to flip Fiendus into face-up defense position. Set this. Set one of these to make a nice, like, S. And there we go. So now I can negate, flip him face down, and then I'll have a face-down card 
so that I can activate the Hidden City. This guy's effect, unfortunately, not all that useful on its own. You can discard a Sub-Terror and draw two cards. Good draw engine, especially if you get Warrior in your hand or another really big Sub-Terror. Uh, especially because the Prediction Princess can summon cards out of the graveyard if they're flip monsters. Oh no, it's a kaiju! What is he going to blow up, though? That and that... Um, okay, well, he's getting rid of this, so I'm not going to be able to do the face down. So, I'll go ahead and chain sub terror final battle. Increase the attack and defense. And yeah, you add his attack to his defense, and he goes up to 49-49. Ah, Kayatu Waterfront. Um, let's see... Yeah, and I don't... I believe if I Twin Twister, I'll discard this, and it'll get a counter. Well, ain't that some shit. Fucking Kaijus! You'd be hard-pressed to find a deck that isn't weak to pure Kaijus. Unfortunately. This deck in particular is kind of a glass cannon in, in a lot of ways. It relies on using a couple different combos to make these these big, big beefy monsters, and if they wipe your field, then oftentimes you don't have anything left. And yeah, especially for the ritual summoning, unless I happen to get the, um... Whatchamacallit? Um... Oh, what is it called? That doesn't really help. Um, yeah, because unfortunately I could search I could search anything, but he could just kaiju over it. Um face up or face down defend. Yeah, if I put it in face down it can flip. Yeah, unfortunately, this is just, like, a complete mismatch. I'm just gonna add this and hope he can't OTK me. Normally, kaijus are pretty... They, you can only control one kaiju, so normally they're not going to be able to do a whole lot of damage. He could do the 3300, unless he's mixing them with something else. Yeah, unfortunately, I could do all my flip shenanigans I want, but if he's just going to tribute over my things before I can do anything, then I'm, I'm in a sad state of affairs. I'm a shed panda. Um. One more turn. Do I have what it takes to draw the things that I need to draw? I'm gonna go ahead. This thing will make, like, ask you if you want to activate something during every possible moment. I found that out. Um... End of the battle step? No. End of the battle phase? No. End of the main phase? No. End phase? Yes. Because it doesn't matter what I get. If I can prediction princess that... Okay, no, it doesn't get the counter, so it's fine. Oh, but he can... Okay. Either way, that's, that's there. I've removed the counters. Um... So I can use this. Yeah, my hope was if I could get the other thing, whatchamacallit, the, um... Activate. Oh, can he negate that? Oh, it says how many counters it has. Gotcha. Um... All right. Um, defense mode. I have the defense. And because I summoned a face-down monster, I have the defense. I can't flip them face up or anything. Um. Oh yeah, and then I just some put it, flip it face down. Gotcha. So there you go. I stall for another turn. He can give me a granted. He could give me a kaiju and then tribute and then just attack over it for more than 300. I'm pretty sure. 
If he gives me something like a Gamma Sill. Search another Star Destroying Kaiju. Alright. Seems like an odd choice. I always forget the Kaijus have effects. Also, I got confused. Normally, the, 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 I guess that's one thing I don't like about this. It doesn't show you on the, the UI how many counters these things have. You have to sort of look down over here where it says three. And see, I, I got confused because I saw the extra deck. I saw the 15 and then the parentheses zero. And I was like, the parentheses zero, that's clearly how many counters are on there. I'm good to activate my things, but I was not good to activate my things. Interesting. He's giving me another shot. One shot, one opportunity, Mother's Spaghetti. Okay, he's giving me that one. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't just summon that and attack for game. You going on you going easy on me? What's your game, crazy man? Um Change the position. Ho-ho! That doesn't help me in the slightest. Not in the slightest bit. Um, what do I have here? Genuine bricks in hand. No, you had the things there. This has nothing to do with bricks. Yeah, unfortunately, I drew into this, which I can't use. If only I kept my thing instead of wasting it. Um... Oh wait, I can activate? Haha! -ha! Give me a token! Now can I exceed summon something I need? 2600, that's still not enough. But if I go to 4... I can make what? Um Firewall Dragon. Target monsters on the field or into the graveyard, up to the number of monsters. Co linked. Okay, so I won't have anything co linked. There's probably something I can do and I'm just not seeing it because I'm not really familiar with these. Um Whatever. I made I made oh wait, um, Let's see, dump, dump, and thump. Decode talker? No. For some reason I thought he'd have more attack, but he doesn't have more attack. Yeah, I need to have another one there. He needs to place something there. Sadly. Um. Well, I made Firewall Dragon. How's that? Genuine Lynx! Free from Link Town. Can't do anything with it. Nothing's co-linked. But I certainly made it. Yeah, and they... Yep. Kaijus. I don't know why I wasted my... <laughs> I should have probably just skipped and been like, yep, I lose to Kaijus. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll see you guys in the, uh, the, the fourth duel. <laughs> Alrighty. Fourth duel versus... I think it was Mr. Toby and then some numbers. Yeah, Mr. Toby, 1018. A fine name indeed. Um, uh, all right, we got some pretty, we got some pretty sweet things we can do and stuff, man. Let's go ahead and normal summon this. Use that Manju to get me my ritual spell. Activate the ritual spell to summon my Tarote by sacrificing a Stalagmo because he's got more than enough. Bada bing. Oh, um, okay. And then we're going to make sure we turn the chains on. Because during the end phase, we activate both its effects. First, we're going to special summon a flip monster from our graveyard. Then, we are going to activate that flip monster. Change a monster to face-up attack position. 
Uh, I'm not going to discard my Fiendus because the whole point of flipping it face up was that now I can negate things by discarding Fiendus, which will flip this face down. So if he's got the Dark Hole Raigeki that's going to ruin my day... Reasoning! Meh. Ooh. Ah, if he's playing Infernoids, then it's best that I negate his one reasoning. But he might have other things he can do. I'm going to assume the worst, and I'm going to go ahead and use that. Just like, nah. Nah, dog, I ain't going out like that. Foolish Burial Goods. All right. Is it Infernoids? No, it's Cubics. Interesting. I haven't seen that in Cubics. Cubic Karma. Okay. Cubics can be kind of deadly. I've been there myself, good friend. All right. That's sad. Although, okay, I can't flip it down because my attack is not 3,000. Okay, and then he's going to give it several attacks. 5,400, that's a lot. Does he have Cubic uh, Wave 2 to double the attack? No. This may be tricky. Tricky, faster than lightning. All right. Change a monster to face down defense position. I will choose this one because I don't want to take that much damage. I'm still going to be taking a lot of damage, but I won't be taking that much damage. Then because he destroyed it, he can attack again, which he'll want to do against that. But now he can't kill my, my stalagmo. So at least I have that. Why are you attacking into Stalagmo? That's going to do damage to you. Trying to make it so I can't activate the flip, because I can flip it face down and then flip it face up again. Ouch. Alrighty then. Activate. Um, what do I want to do? Trying to think. Um, do I have another? I just have a fiendus in the graveyard, so that won't really help. Um, okay, actually. I think I can do this. Wait, no, it has to be flipped face up. Um, but I can do that. And it's attack. Okay. Add this. Normal summon warrior. Activate Warrior's Effect. We're going to want... Spielogeist. Its attack is 3,000. Face down. Use the Hidden City. Flip him into attack position. Oh yeah, and I get to summon this guy back because... Okay, wait. One and then two. That way you can't negate it. But target a monster, its effects are negated, and its attack becomes zero. My original attack is 3,000. What? No. Oh, 3,000 or less. Okay. Well, I done goofed then. I just I just goofed my way into Goof City. I I was I am I am sadly mistaken. A sadly mistaken man from a sadly mistaken place. At least I can do th several damages to him. But yeah, he just has to end his turn, and I take... Yeah, I thought it was... Okay, so it has to be more than 3,000. I thought if it was 3,000, I would be able to do this. I was so proud. I was like, I'm going to attack him for 3,000, and then we'll see who's who. I'll make you waste all the things. Um... Is there nothing I can do? I can make this, but its attack is not going to be, it's not its effect. This, if you don't know, it, it sends the cards it points to back to the, the hand. So I could summon it there and try to send that, but it wouldn't actually work. Um, I 
Yeah, I don't have anything over 3,000. If I could get two flip monsters, I could make the link, but I can only summon during... Yep. A sad state of affairs. I was not able to beat my own things. Oh, a sadness is a me. I wish I had enough attack to get over Cubic Lord. Oh, just end your turn indeed. That's all you have to do, and it'll be the death of me. I mean, I can, I can tag out of that. I can, I can tag out of that. Um, that's a thing I can tag out of. <laughs> Not that it matters if he, as soon as he destroys this, this normally when it's flipped up, change all monsters to defense position, but it, he's unaffected by monsters. Although he's not unaffected by this. Um, yep. Negate the attack. Flip everything face down. Summon this. It doesn't do anything. I'm just wasting time. <laughs> All he had to do was end his turn, but at least I'm making it so he has to end his fucking turn. Wait, no, he has less than 3,000. We'll both die. Good tie? I think I think that's a tie, isn't it? I'll have to see. Draw game! Ha <laughs> ha! If I can't win, I'll take you down with me. I think that's the first draw I've ever gotten. We got a draw, people. I don't know how to put that on the thing. I I don't I don't have room on my sheet for that. Um. Well then. Um. I I. Well, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out in the next duel. <laughs> All right, here we are in the sixth duel versus eight. Kind of confusing, kind of confusing. I'm, I'm versus a number, or I guess zero, zero, eight, if you want to be specific. Looks like I'm going first. Hi. Howdy. How's your hammer hanging? That's a fun way to greet someone, am I right? Um, let's see, okay. So, Lost City, search a subterror, grab Fiendus. Six duel and I'm still explaining things, because we, th this deck can do a lot of things, I tell you what. Sirtho, okay. So, normal summon this. Activate. Flip it face down. Then I'll summon Stalagmo. He's a draw card. Bada bingo. And then, I activate Hidden City. I flip Stalagmo back up. He lets me discard a sub-terror, specifically him, to draw two cards. And I've got two final battles. Oh boy, and I think I can use more than one per turn, so that'll be good. Um, we'll put on this. End phase, nothing I can do. Draw phase. Let's just activate one of these. Um, change it to face-up position, and we'll get our... Get our Fiendus face up so that I can use the effect. And then I don't need to worry about that. Yeah, you just need to click on that so you can activate things in the draw phase. Otherwise, it won't really let you. It's a sad state of affairs. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, negate that because bad things will happen. Um, destroy it, and if you do, special summon an ancient gear. Well, that I don't want to do. So, yeah. F'd in the A and have a nice day. Nah. Um, no, I'm good. I'll keep this stalagmo in my hand. Foolish burial goods. Okay. Okay, you can do some things. He sent another one. Now he's got two. What does this do in the graveyard again? Um, banish this. Target one face of card you can destroy, destroy it, and then summon an ancient gear token. Okay. And then he's got that. I've got, what, 2100 defense. So I'm relatively good. I don't think there's very many rank 4s that are going to be able to to stop me. And let, well, he could make Utopia the lightning. With real lightning. In which case, I'll just flip this up beforehand so that I can um, draw two more cards by getting rid of this other stalagmo. Hopefully get into one of my rituals so that I can get the other one with Manju. 
I like the things that they're kind of... I never noticed that before. End of the main phase. Okay, end phase? You know what? I'm still gonna do that. Change to face-up position. Yo, what's up? Oh yeah, and I get to summon this guy. I forgot about that. I'll just do him first because he doesn't have anything on the field. And there we go. Now I've got the things I wept, and my opponent left the game because he was worried about that. Which he rightfully should be, because that, that next turn I was going to be able to do all sorts of things. Like double... Ooh, I could have... Oh wait, no. It doesn't double their attack. It adds their attack to their defense, so you can't, you can't double use it. Um, but it's still the fact that he would have had, like, upwards... What was that? 4,900? He would have had 3,000... I would have had the, the, the preparations. I would have been able to summon uh, Stalagmo back. I could have even made the link, possibly. But unfortunately, that's not going to be happening because he surrendered. But still, a win's a win. We did some things. Let's go into the seventh duel. <laughs> RX-78-2 initiated. Dueling code. Error not found. The guy, the guy we're playing against, he looks like a robot. He's got like a robot-type name. Not like me. I am Raylia. Ooh, I get a thousand. Oh boy. While I'm getting a thousand and my opponent is doing things, I want to go ahead and give that hard leg shout out to Mr. Ryan Smith. You may know him from donating a crap ton of money to me for more than a year now at this point. He's he's an amazing gentleman, very kind, very friendly, very, very donate -y, if that is indeed an adjective that can be used. Uh, go ahead and, and shout him out down in the comments. Let him know that you appreciate him supporting the channel. And of course, if you would like to support the channel, a donation of just $1 or, or more will get you these cool sleeves I made with the sub-tears and, and stuff. It'll also give you the negation, the gnaw, and, and the deck. And you'll be able to learn about stuff like before it comes out, like a few days beforehand. So, so that's cool. Oh, and I have a Discord. You can get on that. You get a lot of things for just $1. Just check out the Patreon if you haven't checked it. It, it, it's pretty neat. Um, fortunately, cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. I can deal with this. Um, no, wait. That was a bad thing to do. I should have. I should have done fiendish. Fiendish would have been the better thing to do. Um, at least he's stalling at the moment. Maybe I can flip him into attack mode. Um, let's go ahead and get this. Because then I can use it for Twin Twisters. Yep, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. But yes, fortunately I have, uh, I forget its name because these all have really big names. The only ones I really know are Stalagmo and Fiendus. And then the ones that have normal names like Nemesis Warrior and Nemesis uh, Archer. But uh, there's the one that has 3,000 attack and when it's flipped, it makes all monsters face down. So I believe... That if they go face down, they'll, like, forget that they've been special summoned and I can run over them. Or if not, then I can get that and I can banish them while they're face down with something. At least that is my hope. Hopes and dreams, dot MP4. Um. Yep, nothing I can do there. Nope. Ouch. Nope. Nope. Ouch. My most of me. No. Okay. Hey, that worked out. Um. Because I'll have a monster higher higher in attack than than he will. Um. So yeah, activate this. We're going to. Summon Terote right here. And then I'm just going to deal a little damage. Can't target, yeah. I guess hope that there's no honest. Um. Actually, I don't need that. Okay, yeah, we're good. Um. Oh wait, actually, yes. Let's do this. Special summon one flip monster. We'll get our good old friend Stalagmo on the scene. 
Yo, what's up? I'm Stalagmo. And then I'll change him to face-up attack position. And then I won't. Because he has more attack, even. And now if they activate something that can get rid of these, or boost their attack, I can negate it with Fiendus. Because that's, that's always been Melodius's thing. Like, they could stall pretty good. They've got this lock where, like, none of the Melodius can be targeted by card effects or destroyed by a battle. None of them can be destroyed by card effects. Oh, that's the one I wanted. Thank you. Thank you, game. Um, everything's in face down. I'll just go ahead and add that to my hand. Thank you. Deck thinning, the movie, the game, the motion picture experience of a lifetime. Let's just go ahead, attack. It's another one. Alright. And then actually, because it can summon from the graveyard, we'll just go ahead and activate this. Flip it face down. Flip it face up. I'll discard this, draw more cards. Another final battle. End phase. Special summon this fucker. What's his name? Ultramas. Ultrafamas. Ultrafamas. And then I'll test my ability, like, if I flip it face up and these go face down, can I then run over them? Or do they still remember being special summoned? I remember someone trying to explain that to me, and it's always been confusing. Like, whether or not the game... Like, because the, the idea of, like, cards remembering things is not really, like, a game mechanic. Um... No. Fiendus is a deadly laser. You just banish so many cards. And I assume you have nothing. Granted, these twin twisters are not doing me any favors, or tell you what. And also, they could go into attack to try to attack this to, to get the effect out now. And then I could flip it with one battle. And that would set everything. Oh, wait, no, yeah, that would set everything. I was trying... You surrendered?! Uh, I guess I'll never find out now. Someone who, who's more familiar with the mechanics will have to tell me if that works. I mean, either way, if I flip them face down and then I got this guy, and target one monster your opponent controls, banish it. If they're face down, the game doesn't know if they're melodious, so I can target them with card effects while they're face down. It would have been a slow process where every turn I'm, like, flipping this up and flipping it face down, but eventually after four turns I'd have all of these... Well, actually, all I'd have to do is get rid of D.Va, once I got the two divas gone, I could run over these with battle and then just attack for a whole bunch. So, I, I had my things going. Let's go ahead into the eighth duel. Ooh, ah, it's a silver psych. Everybody knows that I got a bike. Bicycle, running around. Everybody goes to clown town, baby. Thank you. Music and lyrics by, by Hard Lake Joe. 2017, copyright. Do not steal. Um, what do I want? I could, I could do so many things. I think what I want to do... Uh, yeah, let's add a fiendus. We like to party. We like, oh, we like to party. Ooh, a max C. All right. That is actually going to be kind of annoying. Um... All right, we'll, we'll, out, we'll out card him then. We'll, we'll out card him. Um, so what we're going to do, granted we'll have less negations, but hopefully I'll be able to do some things. We'll get to draw two cards, max, and I'll be able to draw two cards. Granted, I'll discard a card. Things are going to be happening, all right. I am not going to allow him to stop me from setting things up. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead. Yeah, we'll discard that. There goes Terate. He gets a card. Blank. End phase. Let's go ahead. Summon one flip monster. 
from the grave. And then change it to face up and hopefully we'll draw a, a, a fiendish. That would be cool. And we'll get Warrior into the graveyard. Okay, I did not get my Fiendus, sadly. A sad state of affairs. That might have been a better thing to do, but I'd rather have the more cards. Granted, all of these cards are terrible in my hand. If he manages to wipe things out, then I'm going to be in a bad state of affairs. Granted, Tarot can... Tarot Tay. Yeah, Tarot Tray. Tarot tray. She can, she's like a Book of Moon. She can flip, flip something face down during either player's turn once per turn. Weatheries, um, let's see. Gain this effect. You can banish this card, add one weathery from your deck to your hand. You can also not add cards to the rest of your hand, except by drawing them. Um, let's see. Place one weathery. You can only use this effect once per turn during the standby phase. Um, so I'm pretty sure if I flip that face down... I'm just gonna flip. I don't know exactly how weatheries work, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I'm gonna be like, no, because you're not gonna banish. Um, you can only use this effect once per turn. During the standby phase. Why could he banish that? Does it? That doesn't allow him to banish. Um. Banish this card, add weathery. Oh, I thought he had to banish the pattern, but it the monster gains that effect. But weatheries can't really special summon. Oh crap. <laughs> Normal summons. Um banish that monster. Okay. So then that weathery can return monsters to my hand. Which is not something I want to be doing, I tell you what. Get that double normal summon. He's all like, I've got a giant lightning crayon. I'm just going to color my way to freedom. So what will he return to the hand? Or is he just going to... Okay. That sucks, but it's not terrible. I've still got many things that can attack. Unless he's got... Face downs. What I need is my twin twisters, maybe. Just a little here or there. Just a twin, just a twin twistery. A twistery twin kind of thing. That would be neat. That would be really neat. Um. And then, do they come back during my standby phase? Oh, okay. I'm learning so much about weatheries. I don't really understand them. I just know they they have to do do with uh, these column mechanics. Oh, I put the blue in front of the blue. Is it going to put the uh, the yellow in front of the yellow? Probably. I guess that's less of a crayon and more of like a big crotch rocket kind of thing. It's like, yeah! Explore everything! I'm going to add things, because I can. Why not? Yay! Um, let's see. We'll do one of ding-dong doodly those. And that'll let me get my... Fiendish. Yes, my fiendish. Um, face down? No, okay. Face down? And he's probably going to banish to draw to add another card. Because you want to get those searches. Got to be searching here and there. And then... Well, I guess I can't flip it with that. Whatever, I'll flip it with this. I'll use my field, I will. And, oh yeah, and I've got a thing, so, one and two. Simultaneous effects go on a chain. These things happen at the same time, and therefore, 
I get to build the chain immediately. So if you want to negate something, you have to negate warrior. You can't negate this, really. Unless you've got targeted negation or something. But Solemn Strike is only going to be able to stop a warrior. It's one of those neat things that, that Yu-Gi-Oh! does. Yeah, I can get rid of this guy because I still have another Stalagmo in hand. I'll keep the Stalagmo in hand. Dump that. See, this is one of those situations where the one that the one that banishes things probably not going to be all that that useful. Um, yeah, drawing more cards. Oh, hey, now I can do one of these. And I'm just going to to send this for this. Womp. All right. Um. And then I could no, nah, but I can't flip it face up. Yeah, there's there's one I could have destroyed these two if I hadn't used it on him to draw cards. But then I then again I couldn't do most of this stuff. Um. So let's see if I can. Yeah, let's get the 18 to take care of the 17. He can send that back to my hand, but that's not really a big deal. Well, also, I think that, that's a quick effect. So yeah, I could chain this quick effect and summon something from my deck. Or I could negate it with Fiendus, but I can only activate one effect of Fiendus per turn. Um, yeah, so I'll just activate that. Um, let's see, this is the one that destroys set cards, and it's only level 5. Yeah, so I can send that, and then I can get rid of this because it's not doing all that much damage. Nope. So send those two, and then we'll summon Stygio Kraken. Oh hey, what's up guys? Hardleg Joe here, coming at you through the magic of editing. I have paused the video because I wanted to point out that this is actually a bug. Um... Subterra Nemesis Warrior should not be able to summon Stygio Kraken in attack mode. It, it can't summon anything in attack mode. It can only summon things in face-up or face-down defense position. Uh, I did not know this. I had just been playing on, on YGO Pro 2 this entire time, and it has this terrible bug. I had been using it to OTK. Uh, if you hear me talk about Subterra OTKs, uh, that, that is why, because I, I had been doing that. But you're not supposed to be able to. That That is a bug. If you're playing this in real life, make sure you, you don't do that. Uh, my apologies. I'll try to be more uh, observant about stuff like that in the future. Uh, anyway, it, it doesn't affect things too much in this duel. So I'll just let you get back to it. Enjoy. Which I only remember because Stygio Kraken is so fun to say. So now you don't bounce the things to my hand. Instead, I just get a different monster. Oh, because they're parallel. So if he's got the two of them, he gets to activate both the effects. So he could send my Stalagmo back to my hand as well. Um, but that one I'm going to negate. No sending for you, and then I'll flip him back down. Oh, that did that negate the attack? Well, that's sad. Oh, wait. Change a monster to face-up attack position. Go Stygio Kraken! Destroy cards on the field equal to the number of sub behemoths. There's two of them things. Important note, it has to be... It has to be set... It has to be... Oh, good. That's good. I'm glad that happened. It has to be the exact number. So if you flip this up and, like, you have a set card and they have a set card, then bad things happen. Then you have to destroy your own set card. And it's sad. How did this happen? Okay, so then I will set this face down because it has way more defense. Um, and yeah, there we go. End phase? Hell yeah. Ultra Famous. Put him down there. He's just doing his thing. Turning all the monsters on the field into face-down defense position. 
Um. Yeah, go ahead. I'll wait for him to attack and then use it. Or I could just set him face down because he was summoned this turn. Or just set them all face down. We'll just make sure that we can activate things when we want to activate them. Pretty sure their link is a link 3. So once they summon the third monster, that is when I'm like, yes, change this to face up attack position. Why wouldn't I? Flip everything face down. They were all summoned this turn, so they can't they can't go back. They can't flip themselves back face up. They could tag out now. Oh yeah, and I get this guy back again. Oops. One, two. Always forget it's asking me about chain order. Of course he goes face down, so it doesn't really matter. And then I can still negate things. Fortunately, just having something that flips everything face down is something that a lot of people cannot deal with. Double summon. Um. No. No, I don't think so. No. No, dog. No more summons for you. Ha <laughs> ha! Too many negations for Weatherys to handle. When it comes to the sky versus the ground, the underground wins every time. <laughs> that was a hard-fought battle. I should not be laughing like I like I did really really well. I was I was frightened. I was frightened that whole time. Next duel. <laughs> All right, here we are, ninth duel. I'm not sure what the opponent's name is. A three, a three. It's an Ashry. We're going first. Um. Hmm. This is one of those not good hands. I mean, Tarote is decent on her own. Anytime you start with two Twin Twisters, you're usually bad unless you happen to be playing against something that's, um. Like, it particularly weak against Twin Twisters. Like, if, if we're playing against, uh. Friggin' Dark Magician, then we've won. We've won just because we have Twin Twisters. Anything else? Not so much, maybe. I only got three cards in the extra deck. I only have 14, though. Don't, don't know how that happened. I made a mistake. And there goes one Twin Twister. Got to MST, its old rival. Har -tar 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 -tar. And yeah, I guess while I'm here, I wanted to go ahead and, and make notice, because I'm playing Sub-Terrors. And I had always said that, like, sub tears and Spirals, uh, as soon as all their stuff came out, I would play them. Going for Fissure then there, eh? Well, let's try this. Glad to see someone playing Fissure. I'll just flip myself face down, and then if he doesn't have anything that can get over 1,200, I might survive. Looks like he might not have anything that can get over 1,200. Ooh, Mon Senju. Not Manju. Senju can only add a ritual monster, not a ritual spell like Manju can. Manju is the better monster. Sadly, he does have something I can get over that. But yeah, I was originally like, I'm going to wait for all the sub terror stuff to come out, and then I'll build them. And then I was going, to, I was set to build them, and then they came out with a Link monster, and I was like, well, then I have to wait until Links come out so I can do that. Granted, I haven't built the Link yet, but it's it's kind of situational. It's only real notable effect is that it has a lot of attack. Like, like a lot. Like, like can get up to 5,000 or so. But I digress. I also, before I built this, I actually built uh, spirals. Um, and they work really, really well. The only thing is, my, my build of uh, spirals is... Uh, it, it's, it's not really, like, interesting. It's, it's not even something I would say that I, I enjoy or that I like. Um, the, the thing about spirals is there's pretty much two ways to play them. You can either, like, 
link slash Ixy spam them out and just make like a huge, huge field that's like unstoppable. Or you can OTK them with, uh, with, with, uh, whatchamacallit, machine dupe. Machine dupe's a big part of it. But either way, they're, they're really this deck that, uh, oh, he's got, no. He's just got two Senjus with different things. Interesting. But also kind of stupid. Yeah, sadly, I drew one of my few sub terra behemoths that does not have the nine stars required to get Tarote. So I'm going to be taking a wee bit of damage, just a tiny bit. Ugh, pardon me. I don't know why, why I've got so burpy all of a sudden. But yeah, my point is, I have a spiral deck. And my question to you is, would you like to see it, given that it's probably just a, a basic spiral deck with, with no, nothing particularly interesting about it? Or rather, or or if you don't, do you have any ideas of what to splash with spirals? They seem pretty, uh, like, based around their own stuff. Everything kind of needs... Well, that's just fantastic. Just getting all my... Forget let, let me guess, the next thing I'm going to get is pre-preparations of rights, and I'm just going to lose to the double Senju beatdown. Uh, and Fissure. Fissure of all things. Um... But yeah, they, they, they seem pretty archetype locked. I tried to do a little thing where I was like, I'm going to put Convulsion of Nature and like uh, Mind Crush in there so that you can use their ability to see your opponent's top deck to make them discard things or play around them. But they're so fast, like once you discover what's on the top of their deck, usually it's one turn, maybe two, and you've won because you could just build so many things. And they make this kind of bit, they're kind of a combo deck. They really, especially the Link variant, kind of reminds me of just, uh, like early, not early, like late synchro decks. Where, where you're just, I do this, and this goes into this, and this goes into this, and this goes into this, and this, well, this goes into this, ladies and gentlemen. All right. We're going to do that. I'm going to search a sub terra monster, and that monster is going to be Stalagmo. Then I'm going to activate this, because I do not want to risk losing things. Okay, good. Good, that's good. So, now I can use this. I can discard. It'll automatically discard if, if, if it's the only thing I can discard. They don't give you a choice if you have no choices to give. Um, yeah, and then we've got to hope for no honest... As long as he doesn't have Honest, we should be good. Why is it waiting? I don't want to be waiting. Okay, good. <laughs> Had me worried there for a second there. No, 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 no. Um, nope. Going into the end phase. And then we'll, of course, try to draw some things. Let's special summon one flip monster. Namely, that stalagmo that we just put in the graveyard. Hey, hey. And then I'll put it face up. And then because its card position was changed, I can put Stygio Kraken into the graveyard, draw a couple cards. Now I've got some more things. Is it is it freezing? Is that what is that that what's happening? What what okay, good. I was worried for a second. You had me worried there now, Sonno. Boyo. Fucking penguin soldier. Ain't that some shit? Two monsters on the field. Um. Hmm. Well, I could put that down. He'd flip it face up. I could put that down. He could just use it again. Um. Fuck, man. Shit. Wasn't expecting it. Sadly, I bricked on the, the... I bricked at the worst opportunity. Maybe he doesn't know he can flip this face, back face up. Maybe he doesn't know that he'll get a search if he flips it face up. That could be a thing. Just working on all these... Okay, he doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know. Um... And all three of my prediction rituals are gone. So I can't get this back. 
No, sir. Not one bit. I don't think I would be going back in the hand quite so much. Um... And I have nothing to add, do I? Nope. Not a damn thing. <laughs> uh. Yeah, unfortunately that could happen when you when you try to turbo so hard into things. In this case, I'm playing like the three manju, the three of this, the three spell, and then the three pre-preparations of rights. You end up with this 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 situation where you can use all the things. How did this get ba Oh yeah, I banished it. Yeah, I really just shouldn't have discarded it for Twin Twisters. I should have discarded one of my... No, if I had discarded one of my other things, then I wouldn't be able to... to draw two cards. So I might not even be in this situation. We'll see. If nothing else, he's... <laughs> Mystic Tomato. Is this, is this it? Am I done? I think I'm done. Sadly, I just <laughs> I can't believe I'm losing to this, of all things. Like, didn't I beat True Kings earlier? Oh, the bricks. The bricks. Yeah, because he's going to attack into that, and then he can summon something else, unless he's dumb. Yep. Sometimes these crazy texts, the Penguin Soldier, and the, the that I wasn't expecting, and the Fissure... Ugh. I would just cut away because I don't really have anything to say at this point. But a lot of people, people like want to see me lose when I lose. I don't know. I figured like, okay, you, you know what it looks like when they attack. You could clearly see that this number is bigger than this number. Just gotta wait for it to happen. Wasting time in an insect nation. Let's go into the tenth duel, the tenth and final duel. <laughs> our next, our next, uh, our, our next duelist is some wind. His name isn't some wind, but he is some wind because he's Augustin. <laughs> Knee slap. Ah, fuck. I had my phone in there. Oh, that was that was a bad play. We're going against against again. What did I, I thought I had fifteen cards in here. I don't know what got taken out. Wait, do I not have the... What happened to the... Huh. The Subterror... The Subterror Link's not in here. That's the one thing. This is going to be the one duel where I'd want to get it to. Also, I didn't see what the hell he added. It looks like... Sephira, Queen of Dragons. Going for some honest things with Gaia. Womp. Draw two cards, then discard a card. Discard one card from my hand. Hopefully discard one of these two Manjus. I don't need those. Fortunately, I think I got a pretty good setup against this. Because I can flip things face down. Ah, does he have a... No, he just has a light. You need light and dark. Sadly, those quick effects. Having those quick effects, dog. And then what you gonna do? Draw two cards, then discard one. Put a dark monster in the graveyard, maybe? <laughs> I'm a goofball. Um, No, he's putting trade in. Weird, he must have had some not good stuff, I tell you what. All right, so let's see here. Um, this is okay. Not enough stars. That's fine. We'll do that. I'll add a ritual of my own. <laughs> sparkle, sparkle. Let's do this, and we'll go ahead and add Fiendus. For that negation ability. Um, and then what I'm going to do... We'll activate this. We will send... This guy and this guy. 
to summon her. And I'm afraid of honest guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. That's what I what I am. Um, and it's not really worth it to do 200 damage. So what I'm going to do end phase. We'll just special summon one flip monster right over here, just in case of a Akashic magician. Change this guy to face up attack position. Good old Uma Strix. When he's flipped, you can banish a card. Hey, what's up? I hope you like banished cards. Now I can attack without worrying. Um, let's see. Add one Black Luster Soldier or Ritual or Gaia. Ah, uh, no, you're good. Now nah, you're good. I got this. That's an Earth. It's not a Light or a Dark. And then Manju. Manju's gonna add things. It's just what Manju does. But I'm negating that ritual spell. When that ritual spell comes down, I'm gonna be like, no. No, I'm not allowing you to do that. You can't. Um, doop a doop. No. What now, bro? Hey, dude. Don't take it bad. You added a ritual, and it was negated. Um, now we're fine. I'll let him have that for now. Um, let's see here. Flip. Yo, what's up? You're getting banished. Hope you don't mind. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead. We can activate one of these once per turn. Or you can only activate once per turn. But let's just get that same dang old thing we had from before. Put this out here. Normal summon is a success. Let me add this. Because you know, I've already got one in the graveyard, and I can just banish that to add my monster. And then we'll attack him for a lot. And then I can negate another thing. I've still got this. I can still flip things face down. I've got moves for days you don't even know. Bada bingo, bada bango. So we'll see. If he gets like, well, I can negate Dark Hole Raigeki. He has to get like two things. Or like three things, I think. Yeah, because I can flip something down, I can banish something, I can negate something. Let's see what he does. You, your move, Augustine. What are you going to be, Augustine? That that's it. That's all you're, all you're gonna do. Um. Okay. Well, the thing about that, I I can flip this face down, and then I can flip it face up. And then I just vanished this. I'm sorry. I think you thought that was going to help you, but it didn't Didn't really help you. So, there we go. I believe that is, unless I see a Battle Fader or a Swift Scarecrow, I'm going to call that as a win. We're doing pretty good. I, I, I think I've got some replays that show a couple things. I might have a replay that shows off what the Link does. So, you know what? We're going to try some replays here this week, hopefully, uh, if they work. And then... <laughs> Then I'll see you on the end screen. Stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Don't stop me now. If you want to have a good time, just give me a call. Don't stop me now. Good time. Don't stop me now. Good time. I don't want to stop at all. I'm hearing voices, and I'm looking for tears, the creme de la creme, the feminine in abyss, and I'm reaching my threshold, staring at the future of life. 
My body's stupid, stereo putrid, pumping out music into raw sewage. We should my threshold, stare at the truth of life. and gentlemen subterror stun we've got six wins three losses and one draw so so it's been an interesting set of duels i hope you enjoyed them i i certainly did this is this is a really fun deck to play probably not in my top five but definitely in my top 10 or 15 probably top 15 i, I don't know i'll have to rank them at some point that, that, either way that's a lot considering i've played like a hundred decks or so just on this show alone not to mention all the other stuff I've played on my own. Either way, very very fun deck. Again, let me know in the comments if you want to see a spiral deck, if you want me to do the, the OTK one or the link spam one. Either way, next week I've already decided that I'm going to do a link-focused deck, finally get into showing how links work with Goki. Goki Beatdown. Should be interesting. So until then, good luck and have fun. <laughs> 